science education is more important than ever to serve an American population that is living longer and with more chronic diseases. Kane University has responded with a unique program designed to address those needs. Health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. Right. What you're going to do is you're going to take a history. These graduate students at Kane University are learning about the muscles in the human body. It's a biology class. These freshman chemistry students are reviewing periodic elements. Name that compound. Everybody knows that. And these organic chemistry students, I'll let this junior explain. Well, right now what we're doing is we're trying to identify an unknown compound. You threw a crystal by first we uh, dissolved it and now we're going to check its melting point. It's an interdisciplinary approach and these science students are among 160 enrolled in this program. It's unusual because it allows them to earn both a bachelor's and master's degree in five years, the new industry norm for entry-level scientists. And what they're working with is literally what's being used presently in pharmaceutical labs around the country. The program is housed in the eco-friendly New Jersey Center for Science, Technology and Mathematics, a new state-of-the-art facility on the Kane campus. It's called STEM for short. Dr. Laura Lawrenson is the program director. We're trying to train tomorrow's biomedicine physicians and researchers. Some of these freshmen fit right in. I want to do um, research psycho um, psychological diseases. I want to contribute something to human longevity. One major goal is to train and to develop the next generation of scientists, some of whom will go on to become drug researchers at some of New Jersey's pharmaceutical companies. We have a need for more new drugs to keep people healthy and everything else in our lives. I worked in the pharmaceutical industry for the past 15 years. And um, what makes it work is interdisciplinary teams. People who know how to speak the language of biology and chemistry are the ones that do best in that industry. The hope is that some of these students will eventually translate what they're learning at the bench to a patient's bedside. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Union.